A new study reveals that magnetic fields are common in star systems with large blue stars, challenging prior beliefs and providing insights into the evolution and explosive nature of these massive stars. Astronomers from the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics, Potsdam, the European Southern Observatory and the MIT Kavli Institute and Department of Physics have discovered that magnetic fields in multiply star systems with at least one sign, hot blue star, are much more common than previously thought by scientists. The results significantly improve the understanding of massive stars and their role as progenitors of supernova explosions. Blue, so called O type stars belong to the most massive stars in our universe with masses of more than 18 times that of our sun. Well, they are rare. They are so hot and luminous that four of the 90 brightest stars visible from Earth belong to this category. They are of extraordinary importance because they drive energetic physical processes that affect the structures of entire galaxies and chemically unreach the region between the stars. Regions of active star formation like the spiral arms of a galaxy or in galaxies that are in the process of colliding or merging <coughs> are where these stars are typically located. Such massive stars are a particularly interest for magnetic studies because they end their evolution explosively as a supernova, leaving behind a compact object such as a neutron star or a black hole as remainder. Binaries are systems of two gravitationally bound stars that orbit around each other. If both components are O type stars, this system can become a compact object binary. The final destination of very massive stars is a black hole, while the less massive O type stars end as neutron stars when they are dying as a supernova. The binaries can end as two neutron stars, a neutron star and a black hole, or two black holes. These objects orbits degrade via the emission of gravitational waves and are observable by gravitational wave detectors. Like the sun, massive stars have stellar winds, an energetic stream of charged particles. This plasma winds responds to magnetic fields and can create a structure. The magnetosphere, yeah, all stars and planets with magnetic fields, including the earth, have a magnetosphere. It protects the earth from energetic cosmic radiation. The plasma which can remove and also move it thousands of kilometers per second is subject to extreme centrifugal forces. It has been proposed that this magnetic mechanism can be the reason for the tightly bundled explosion of massive stars relevant for long duration gamma rays burst, X-ray flashes and other supernova features. While well, a theoretical explanation for the influence of magnetic fields on supernova or long duration gamma ray burst was proposed decades ago, since then only 11 O type stars have been reported to host magnetic fields. All of them, apart from one star, were single stars or in white binaries. This was a very puzzling fact, as prior studies had shown that. Over 90% of O type stars form in multiply systems with two or more stars. Yeah, indeed. Many theorists have been mystified by the rather low number of magnetic fields detected in massive stars because they could not interpret some of the observed physical characteristics of multiply systems without accounting for their effect of a magnetic field.